here we are with the two frontmen of Souls for Evil and they're going to support Tung Chubda at Dingwalls Camden. Hi guys, nice to meet you. Hi guys, Hello. nice to meet you. And you. You just came back from your last tour, how was it? That was really awesome. We've been uh, around in Hungary, it was really cool. Big audience and uh, big atmosphere, really, really smashing. So how's the feedback from Hungary? I think now it's quite a lot we're going over there and uh, they love us, they love us. Every time there is uh, some new drinks to try, some uh, new food to experiment and uh, you know. Yeah, it's really good. How, do, how do bosses keep up with uh, the rock and roll lifestyle? Do you get ever like fired? Yeah, every two months I get my notice. But then, you know, with my smile and uh, attitude, I get the job back. Because without this job, we can uh, we can afford to go around Europe with the band and uh, supply all the things that we need, like merch and things like this. Unfortunately, we don't get that amount of money that we need to survive from the music. So we all need to work. Yeah, we hate money, but we need money. Do you know what I mean? We need to eat. Yeah. If, you see, if you see these guys, give them money. Yeah, give us some money. Give me some money. There are lots of metal bands in London. Um, what do you do to stand out? Uh, we just go there, people sit and usually we stand out. They like to sit and we just stand up and be fucking loving. Now we're just trying to be ourselves and I'm not saying we're trying to be different. We are different as all, but in the band is different. And the result is different. It might be the same like some other bands, but... I think we are different because we love difference and we're not liking money. We love money. That's it, cut with the money now. Um, you've supported lots of uh, Hungarian bands. Who was the uh, most uh, fun to have an after party with? All of them. That's really true. Like, I have to obviously say thanks to the Depressio. Romeo Verdi, Romeo Verdi, Cadaveres, <laughs> Cadaveres, yeah, yeah, yeah. But with everybody, like everybody we played it so far, it's a really nice experience, and we love those guys, and I hope they like us too. And if not, all they need to give us is money. Fuck the rest. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to say that with every band we played, any gigs, every band gives you a different type of, um, you know, let's say backstage parties, different uh, welcome. It's all, um, each band has a different way to take you in their own uh, space, in their own family. We are all part of many families. And um, part of families, all the families. And um, now you ruin it, man. It remind me I need to punch him later on. Do it now, Yeah? If you call this punch, you're yeah. pussy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We love everything about it. So you, you did a long tour with Ektimov. Yeah. Have you learned anything from the tour? Do you remember yeah, any uh, of it? Especially myself, I, yes. I, did, I did learn a lot, to be honest. Like, the appearance on stage and being there and just give you a full boost appearance. I learned that, so... And I learned how to drink before the gig and how to carry on drinking after which is really like useful to be honest for a rock and roll band. Yeah, and you? Yeah. Something <laughs> we, um, we learn how to be on time on stage. We learn how to follow whatever joy our tour manager would say to us. By the way, ciao Joy. Ciao, we miss you, man. We miss all the family from Ectomo. And uh, most, of, most of all, we learn how to work together with other bands because it wasn't just us and Ectomov. There were different bands every day, every place. You know, we had the chance to play with Privilege of Approval, Tuxedo. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so was it rather work or having fun? Both. It was really... Having fun work. Yeah, it was hard work, you know. You finish your gig, you got the tour bus there it's waiting for you, and uh, before you go to sleep, you need to get, you know, a few bottles of something, 
then you go to sleep, you wake up one o'clock in the afternoon, sound check, some food if they leave you some. Because sometimes, some food, yeah, yeah. sometimes we go young, the drama is like eight for six. Drama you know is mean? like, it's a train on the drums, but it's a fucking fast also with the fork. Sorry, I said fucking. We're gonna cut it. Fuck's sake. No, don't cut it, don't cut it. Leave it, leave it. We, this is what it is, you know? You are rude and... So you, you've, got a, you've got a brand new video coming out um, called In a Century. Um, tell me more about it. How is the making of? Who's the best actor in the band? The best actor in the band is the music. <laughs> I don't think this is it's nice. Who's the best actor? Actor? I think all of us is like really good actors. Enjoy what we did. I don't think it was really acting because we just did how we felt. And uh, uh, yeah, but I think he's he's the best mask man. The mask suited him the best, to be honest. Yeah. Always going on the funny bit of the, the whole thing. Uh, I think it was a really the best actor really was sorry the actress she was beautiful really good Maya thank you very much again yeah she was the best and the rest of us we just tried to make our best really out of it first time first experience next one is gonna be much better next one is we're trying to make Shakespeare's uh, Othello for the next the new drama from him lovely lovely <laughs> So, uh, do you have any further plans uh, in London? How studio works going? Yeah, we are, we are recording new songs and um, on the 7th of July it's going to be a really, really important gig at the garage in uh, Highbury, Islington and uh, we need to get lots of people coming down there. It's 800 people capacity so we want some movement, otherwise we get bored on stage, you know what I mean? So we need to get lots of people coming down, drinking and uh, having fun. Don't drink this now. And um, it's going to be interesting. It's a gig for the Emergenza Festival. And it's a sort of uh, competition, band competition. So the winner, we go on tour with uh, bands like uh, Biffy Clyro, um, cancer bats, many other bands in Germany. Yes, it's true. Check out the website, man. Check the last post. We've got the rest of the motherfuckers there. What you know? They are complaining about something. You know the way I look, the way I move my body, the way. Do you know what I mean? Look. Do you know what I mean? He, he's just jealous. You see, don't move like. <laughs> If you could choose, uh, if you could choose which band um, would you chill with the most? But like, from any any band, any band or any live band alive? Any live band alive. <laughs> so it's not like Nirvana or stuff. Oh ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Existing cool bands. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I would love to go. I don't know. But personally, oh, as a soul for evil, as a soul for evil, this is a soul for evil interview, so it must be, I don't know. You guys, should we go with uh, Meshuga? Meshuga. Yeah. Meshuga. Yeah? Is that alright? I would have Neurosis. I think, I think that it should be like this. Us, Neurosis and Meshuga. But then, the day after, when we get the break from this tour, we open for Gojira. I think it's all right. I think it's fair. And then Rage Against the Machine. And Rage Against the Machine. And then, and then Fate No More. And then... Yeah, then all of the band, man. And then Christine Aguilera, only for one night. That would be a nice one. And uh, Rihanna, would you like her? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but most of it, I would like to do a song with all those bands we've been touring in Hungary. Like, uh, you know, one of those uh, superstar music musician things like we are the world but something with all the Hungarian act you know Leon the, you throw everybody Tan Chabda Romeo Verzi everybody in you know even a little bit of uh, watch my dine with that fucking it would be a big success big hit. but you know dreams are dreams Dream. we push it for that and uh, what about you 
<laughs> about me? I don't know. What's your favorite band? My favorite band was actually Biff Cairo, you've mentioned. Did you see? But, yeah. I saw them live on the world. I was there. No, wait, not in Underworld, but in O2. But yeah. really, really long time ago. Yeah, I, I really like Let Live, if you've heard of them. Mm. They're pretty good. Very cool. But it's not my time to answer questions. That's true, but we got at least one, so... Yeah, we've got only one question left, which is um, not really a real question. It will maybe get caught, but... Um, You've all got like wives and girlfriends now. How do you get cope with um, the bunch of groupie army after the show? Uh, there are we no just send them home after the show. Yeah, shows. like you guys need to go home because right. we can't we can't do anything. So you've got guy groupies as well, yeah. He's got guy groupies. Yeah. I'm alone by myself. Uh, are you jealous? Of him? Yep. He's no. Because he's got guy groupies? No, 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 I'm fine on my own. I'm independent, you know? So I like to stay alone and help myself and enjoy myself. So his groupie, his groupie is... is I'm my own groupie, myself. <laughs> yeah, you've been big enough to I be. can't reach there, but if I could... So far we don't have groupies, so groupies, if you hear this, please be our groupies, yeah? Just come like... Bam, bam, bam. And that's like cheerleaders. You need some cheerleaders to be honest, because we are cheered up all the time, but we need leaders to lead it. So yeah. yeah. Thank you for your time, guys. Thank you for your Have good, good fun Thank tonight. You. So for evil. Respect. Thank you.